Bull Bull's re-signing with the Phoenix Suns. That's right. Bull Bull, my idol man, my GOAT, my favorite NBA player if you don't know. He's re-signed with the Phoenix Suns. And this may come to a shock to most, but here's contract details. So, for context, the Suns could only offer him pretty much the vet minimum, or just the minimum general. And he was also unrestricted free, so obviously they didn't, they didn't have any bird rights on him and things of that nature. So they could just offer him flat out uh, the minimum, which in Bull's case was $2.4 million uh, with the non-bird rights. And like I said, it might be surprising to people because they're thinking, oh man, Bull arguably has the best season, right? Because, yeah, his points-wise, his best season was with um, the Magic. But if you're actually watching, you'll know why. This is like the Sun season was actually the best because he was on a actual good team and his role was more, I don't know, impactful, crucial to say the least. Um, he's just better, more better here, more well rounded. And this is better in general. He was uh, more sharp, like his defense was way better on the Suns, it improved so much since being on the Suns. That was one of the big things, and yeah, so it might be surprising that he didn't uh take a bigger deal because i did see that multiple teams wanted to offer that and i don't know what those teams were we don't know about that but teams were willing to offer more money than the suns obviously because the suns they're they have no money they have no money to spare they made all their moves and everything so this is their team and it's just signing people for the minimum because ever since last season second apron since that's been introduced last season uh yeah the suns are one of the teams that were literally being targeted with that because if you're gonna have three players that have max contracts over like rally beal durant B, or, no, sorry, Booker. Those are your three players, and then the rest you gotta pretty much get like either some of them you still use mid-level extensions. I'm pretty sure you can finesse it. Like um, they were able to re-sign Royce O'Neal and stuff. That's because he was already on the team, so it's like an extension set. So there's like some loopholes, but generally speaking, majority of the players on your roster from then uh, that point on, you'd have to fill it with uh, minimums. And on top of that, the other factors into this decision uh, why Bold resigned is. Um, I expected this because over the summer, Bull was really working off Durant tons. I don't know if you guys seen the pictures and stuff and videos. Yeah, these are one of uh, uh, Chet. And yeah, you know what I mean? That was pretty cool. But besides the point, he's working off Durant, meaning I'm like, okay, this is probably a sign that he's going to re-sign, re-sign with the Suns. And he loves Durant. Durant loves him. Uh, Durant was, uh, Kevin Durant was very big for mentoring uh, Bull, sorry, Bull this past season. And we saw that he got so much better. Grant was teaching literally on the fly, like that iPad video. If you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. But you can definitely see that Bull learned some moves from Durant. And especially on defense, Durant was literally teaching Bull, put your hands up, like just basic things. Because Bull had never been taught that before from anyone. Because honestly, no one even cared to teach him. No one, like, it's sad. Honestly, I feel so bad for him. But no one even cared to teach him that. So there's actually people in the Suns organization and players that actually care about Bull. So that's another thing. He actually feels welcomed and, you know, cared about here so that's another reason why and then uh what's the other thing yeah mike boonhoser a new coach so frank vogel he absolutely did bowl dirty if he actually played uh bowl and utilized him properly bowl would have literally had you know, an even better uh season last year and he would have probably left the suns uh this free agency instead of resigning because he would have actually gone to bag because he actually would have got more playing time and been utilized correctly so for the Suns, it actually went in their favor because of that. And now the Bulls saw that, okay, so Mike Boonoser, we got a new coach, and he uh, pretty much unlocked Brooke Lopez, changed his game. I mean, like, I know, yeah, you know, it's like changed his game pretty much so that he's a stretch uh, big. And look what happened there. Stretch five uh, with uh, Giannis, obviously, so like in this situation, uh, Durant would be honest. Then you got Bull, who would be broke, uh, Brooke Lopez's situation, and they won a championship, right? So you see what I mean? We'll see in this. is like, okay, we got a better coach. This coach actually utilized me because he actually likes, you know, his bigs utilizing them. And he's like, okay, so this is way better. I'll give another shot because no other team is going to offer me that much money because Frank Bull will absolutely screw me out of the money. So I'm just better off going on this team because also I'm guaranteed to have minutes on this team, like an actual role where I'll actually get playing time and a significant role. And, uh, touches of the you know things of that nature whereas if i were to sign another team even if it's for five million annually or four years i don't want to be locked into that because i know i can get a bigger deal in that bigger deal next year next season over longer terms and just more money annually and i might not even be guaranteed to get um, a significant role on this other team i signed with because they might just put me out of the rotation with like within two months or something all these other things 
And also, the team not, might not be as good. The Suns are contenders. Don't forget that. The Suns are championship contenders. I know some people might not see it like that, but now nah, they are. Like, yeah, they did kind of disappoint uh, this past season. But trust me, no. They are contenders. And Bull, um, with his depleted roster now, because, yeah, that's what I was going to mention. The depleted roster. This roster is literally depleted. Like, Eric Gordon, um, he declined his player option. Josh Coey declined it. I forget. I think... Uh, what did Lee do? I forget. I saw something about Lee. I, I'm, I'm unsure. He might. I forget what, what he did. But regardless, a lot of players from the Suns that they signed for the bet minimum or a little bit above it, a whole bunch of them are gone now. So now they're going to have to find other players. And this free agency, from uh, what I remember, isn't that good in general. So I don't even know about the free agents themselves. And these players are opting out because they want to get away from the Suns, not because they're trying to get more money because the Suns can't even offer them more. So it doesn't make any sense. They're just trying to get out of there. Because the role is on the Suns and you work for them. So, and that, that was just because Frank Fools, honestly. And some of those played kind of bummed. But besides the point, Bull knows because with a new coach, with a team being uh, depleted, that he's going to get more playing time. And Bull's actually going to be unlocked now. Bull is literally going to be able to shoot more threes this game. Actually have more plays besides, you know, staying in the corner. Like, that's my hope. MIP season for Bull. Because Frank, uh, sorry, Frank Boonoser, bro. <laughs> bro. Mike Boonoser. Is actually going to unlock Bull Bull. Mark my words. And then you got Durant there mentoring him again for another season. He's just going to get better now. Now And he's, he's going to get more reps too. Because literally Bull will literally go from cooking, right? The first game, or one game. And the next game, Frank Bull will literally like play him no minutes at all. For no reason. And then next game, or two games later, he'd play him like, you know, 10 minutes. And then he wouldn't do good because, you know, he has no rhythm anymore. He, has, he hasn't played in like three games. And he just takes him out and then pretty much punishes him. For that it's like the most like stupid thing and like he's just playing bad he's just improving himself and frank vogel's just like nah man you're out i don't like you man <laughs> like it's ridiculous mike boonhoser's not gonna do that i guarantee you he won't he knows the value that bull can bring i guarantee it i guarantee it durant knows it too so obviously a big three in a belly shrimp especially durant so yeah and they just need they need bull right now and they know what he can do so yeah he, he's gonna be so nice he's gonna be so nice uh hopefully he becomes a starter Honestly, who knows what's going to happen. That was my prediction last year that he would, you know, the ceiling would be like him becoming a starter. But unfortunately, that didn't happen because of Frank Vogel. Yeah, but those are my hopes for Bolt. And next year, he's going to get that bag. Mark my words. He's going to get that bag. I don't know how many years, but he's going to cook this year. He's going to do so good. People are underestimating him right now. People are making fun of Bolt. I don't know why. I don't know why people think he's a meme. He's actually a good player. Like, clearly people are not watching. Like, he's actually a good player. Like, screw all the Victor comparisons, all that, whatever. Bull Bull is actually a good player. Like, he literally could, like, he's going to help a championship team. In this case, the Suns. He was doing that last year, but then he got iced out because of his coach. Because coach was absolute bum. Bull is going to cook now, and then he's going to get... The plan is for him to cook this season, and then get the bag next year. And hopefully, I mean, he can't be with the Suns unless they do some, like, moves where they just, you know, create cap space for Bull. Uh, but even then, that's very unlikely. But... Yeah, he's going to, you know, sign one year deal with all these things going in his favor right now. I explain all these factors. And then once he plays good, obviously, in free agency, he's going to get that bag, especially if they go deep into the playoffs or something like that, or even win a championship and he plays good. That's just going to add on to it. And the more teams are going to be intrigued by uh, signing Bobo in that case. And I don't know how much money he's going to get, but honestly, I can see him getting minimum 10 million a year because you're seeing some people out here getting ridiculous amounts and they don't even play that good. Like, there's literally people that average, like, like what, like, four or five points a game and, like, three rebounds and two assists who I've seen get, like, ridiculous amounts of money, okay? So, if Bull cannot get a minimum of $10 million a year annually over, like, four years in his next contract, that's going to be ridiculous. Because I know he's going to average probably, like, close, like, honestly, 10 points. He's going to be an MIP contender. And, yeah, those are my predictions for him. They're going to absolutely cook. And Bull is going to contribute. People are still on him right now, but watch. He's going to prove them wrong. Anyways, that's my prediction for Bull Bull. I'm hyped. He's my favorite player. He's going to bring he's going to bring energy to the Suns. He's going to help them a lot. And everyone's going to see what he's actually capable of when he actually has a coach who likes him, actually wants to play him, actually wants to run plays for him, do actually like do stuff for him. You know what I mean? And everyone else is there to support him. He's going to be unlocked now. This is good. It's a good move by Bull. 
I don't see how people think it's a bad move. And all the ways I look at it, it's a good move. Look at all these factors, and you think, okay, he's going to play good this year because he's, he's going to get more playing time and more things uh, going for him, such as plays. And another year to get better, where he already just got better on defense last year uh, with Durant's help and on offense too. So, yeah. And every way you look at it, this is a good move for Bull. He's going to get that bag, hopefully. Yeah, I'm happy to see this, man. This is my GOAT.